ओके ओके सो हाई इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स इवनिंग एवरीबडी बच्चे इवनिंग एवरीबडी आई गेस वी नो इच प्रेडी वेल आई एम डॉक्टर सुशांत सोनी एम बी बी एस मैम सी एम डी पैथोलॉजी रेजिडेंट हिमाट ऑनकोलॉजी एम्स दिल्ली सो लेट एस स्टार्ट बच्चे लेट एस स्टार्ट विद एन इम्पॉर्टेंट अपडेट दैट इज एब नॉर्मल प्लेटलेट मोर्फोलॉजीज लेट मी जस्ट सी इफ एवरीथिंग इज वर्किंग फाइन एंड नॉट Is it working? Just a sec. <clears throat> yes, it is. It is. So, बच्चे let us start. Let us start with abnormal platelet morphologies. Uh, important topic. Don't ask me why we are expecting this to be asked in our today's in our 11 September NEET PG paper, but this can very well be asked. Let us start. Let us start with our first image. We are you are pretty comfortable with the fact that this is peripheral smear. Keep on telling me the answers side by side. Please keep on writing it in the chat box. Think of it as that you are. Ah, नहीं बच्चे नहीं S S नहीं. There is. Uh, देखो दे विल ऑलवेज बी ग्रुप्स हु विल नॉट बी हैप्पी विद समथिंग और द अदर और वट्स एवर डू नॉट वरी अबाउट एनी थिंग पेपर इज ऑन द शेड्यूल डेट वाई विल एनी बडी पोस्ट ऑन द पेपर नाउ कोविड इज अंडर कंट्रोल एवरी थिंग इज वर्किंग फाइन यू हैव योर पेपर इन टू डेज सो डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट पॉइंट कम टू द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स विच इज स्टार्टिंग विद द फर्स्ट इमेज वट डू सी हेयर दिस इज पेरीफुल स्मेयर आर पी सी इज आर स्प्रेड अपार्ट शोइंग द प्रेजेंस ऑफ all these small small dots these are the platelets these are the platelets this smear is full of platelets making this as a diagnosis of platelets are very much increased in number making this making this as a diagnosis of et that is essential thrombocytosis making this missing this as making this as et that is essential thrombocytosis essential thrombocytosis with respect to center change i know that uh, supreme court allowed two girls who were pregnant and could not travel to change the center but bache i doubt that postponement will occur it will not occur do not even think of all this so coming back to this platelets are very much increased in number et essential thrombocytosis next in this case this is a bone marrow biopsy i want this to be a high yielding 5 7 minute session fada fad se dekho dost keep on telling me the diagnosis Examiner has told you that this is the bone marrow biopsy appearance showing this diagnosis. What do you see in this bone marrow biopsy? You are able to make out that all these cells, all these, these are the mega karyocytes. These are the mega karyocytes which are increased in number. Mega karyocytes they are markedly increased in number and hyperlobated. So it shows the presence of hyperlobated mega karyocytes. It shows. It shows the presence of hyperlobated mega karyocytes and these mega karyocytes they are also increased in number and these mega karyocytes they are also increased in number again making this as a diagnosis of et making this making this as a diagnosis of essential thrombocytosis so this is the peripheral smear picture of the same versus versus this is the bone marrow biopsy et next next now have a look at this image I have already told you that this is what a normal platelet looks like. When the question will be coming in the exam, they will not give you normal platelet. Of course, you need to know this is the normal size and shape of a platelet. This is the microscopic image which is given to you. Diagnosis: This is a spotter. This is a this is extremely easy. This is a spotter. It shows the presence of a neutrophil. This is a neutrophil. It shows the presence of a neutrophil with platelets. all around the neutrophil these are the platelets which are present around the neutrophil present around the neutrophil called as platelet satellitosis called as called as platelet satellitosis this is a written mcq also why is platelet satellite satellitosis seen platelet satellitosis this is an in vitro phenomena it is an it is an in vitro phenomena please note it is not in vivo it is an in vitro phenomena made in peripheral blood smear because of edta changes this is occurring due to edta blood occurring due to edta induced changes in the blood platelet satellitosis all the points were important this is not in vivo 
this is an in vitro phenomena occurring due to EDTA blood. Next point. Next point. Now have a look at the second image. Now the first image you very well know that the first image is that of normal platelets. It is a normal platelet. As compared to normal, as compared to normal, what is the problem which you are able to see in the second image? This is a tiny platelet. Diagnosis, diagnosis, tiny platelets. This is also called as microthrombocytes, which is this is also called as also called as microthrombocytes, microthrombocytes associated with which disease? This was asked in your last year in the INI exam also. Seen in Viscott Eltis syndrome. Very, very important. You know that Viscott Eltis syndrome, it is the classical triad. Viscott Eltis is the classical triad of eczema, recurrent infections, and thrombocytopenia. This, along with thrombocytopenia, it also shows the presence of tiny platelets. That is, it is associated with microthrombocytes. It is associated with microthrombocytes. Next point, which is totally agreed, totally, totally agreed, Viscott Eltis syndrome. Next, now have a look at this. The first image is, of course, a normal platelet. The second image, the second image, it is such a giant, bizarre platelet. I mean, it is even larger than that of the surrounding RBC. This does not actually even look like a platelet. I mean, until I told you, this would have looked like a cell or something, but this is a giant, bizarre platelet with cytoplasmic vacuolations this is the vacuole also that you are able to see giant bizarre platelets giant bizarre platelets with cytoplasmic vacuolations along with with presence of cytoplasmic vacuolization with presence of cytoplasmic vacuolization seen in a case of mds myelodysplastic syndrome Differentiate a giant bizarre platelet of, MB, of, of MDS, myelodysplastic syndrome, from large platelets. They hope, as compared to normal, this is a very large platelet, but not as large as that seen in MDS. Myelodysplastic syndrome, there was giant bizarre platelet with cytoplasmic vacuolization. It's not crab looking. This is a large platelet. Hai. This is a large platelet, but it's not crab looking. Hai. Please put a star on this. Large platelets associated with BSS, Burnett Solia syndrome. Large platelet, very important, hai, which is very important. Hai. Associated with, associated with Burnett Solia syndrome. Associated with Burnett Solia syndrome, BSS. What is Burnett Solia syndrome? What is Burnett Solia? It occurs because of a defect in GP1B9 versus a defect in GP2B3A which is called as Glanzmann's thromboasthenia. This is large platelets seen in Burnett solia syndrome. Next point, next point. When you talk of mega-sized platelets, MDS may, there, there is a spectrum of change that we see. I'll just show it to you. Achha, chalo, isse pehle, let us first have a look at this slide. Let us first have a look at this. As compared to normal, in the second image, in the second image, which you are seeing a spectrum of platelet morphology. You are seeing a spectrum. Spectrum of platelet morphology. Some platelets are very large. Some are of normal size. Whereas some are smaller than normal. There is a whole spectrum of platelet morphology seen in this. This is associated with then. Ek to spectrum ho gaya. Dusra, some of the platelets are also hypogranular in nature. As compared to the normal granularity of the platelet, this is a hypogranular platelet. It is a giant hypogranular platelet, making the diagnosis as obvious. Gi very large platelets, giant platelets with cytoplasmic vacuolization or a spectrum of platelet morphology is associated with MDS, myelodysplastic syndrome. Differentiate a case of myelodysplastic syndrome from a simple giant platelet Again, bigger than the size of the RBC, giant platelet, giant platelet, larger than RBC, larger in size, larger in size than RBC, but it, there is no spectrum, there is no hypogranularity. This is associated with Mayheglin anomaly. Again, please put a star. Associated with, associated with Mayheglin anomaly. 
associated with meglin and only these are the abnormal platelet morphologies ek bar fatafat se bache quickly let us have a recap of the same let us have a very quick recap of the same uh ha ankit we'll have a look we'll have a look let us first have a look at the peripheral smear pictures देखो देखो इन दिस इन दिस पेरफुल्स में यू आर एबल टू मेक आउट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ प्लेटलेट्स विच आर वेरी मच इंक्रीज इन नंबर ई टी असेंशियल थ्रोम्बोसाइटोसिस नेक्स्ट बोन मैरो बायोप्सी शोइंग द प्रेजेंस ऑफ मेगा कैडियोसाइड्स विच आर लार्जर इन साइज एंड आर हाइपर लोबेटेड इन नेचर लार्ज प्लेटलेट्स लार्ज मेगा कैडियोसाइड्स विच आर हाइपर लोबेटेड विच आर हाइपर लोबेटेड दैट इज अगेन ई टी असेंशियल थ्रोम्बोसाइटोसिस नेक्स्ट This is an in vitro phenomena in which platelets are present around the neutrophil. Platelet satellitosis associated with EDTA blood sample. Platelet satellitosis. Next, next, tiny platelet. Next, this is a tiny platelet. Tiny platelet, Viscosity syndrome. You know that Viscosity syndrome it occurs because of mutation in Vas protein, which is the classical triad of recurrent infections. Thrombocytopenia, thrombocytopenia and eczema. Viscosity syndrome, tiny platelets. Next, giant bizarre platelet. Platelets are larger in size than normal. Giant bizarre platelets with cytoplasmic vascularization that is seen in MDS. You uh, in MDS along with the presence of giant bizarre platelets, you see the whole spectrum. You see the whole spectrum of platelet morphology. You see the whole spectrum of platelet morphology. Some are very giant. Some are normal size, whereas others are microthrombocytes. Next, large platelet, though less than the size of an RBC, is seen in PSS, Bernard-Soulier syndrome, versus giant platelet larger than an RBC, is seen in Meighlin anomaly. So both of these, PSS, Bernard-Soulier syndrome has large platelet, but giant platelet, large is PSS, large is PSS, ball होती है ना B A W L, ball होती है. BSS Bernard Soulier syndrome large platelet versus giant platelet giant platelets Meighlin anomaly in Meighlin anomaly the granularity was normal it is a morphological feature the granularity was normal versus MDS myelodysplastic syndrome which has a whole spectrum of platelet morphology and very large or giant platelets giant bizarre platelets with hypogranularity this was this was the spectrum or this was abnormal platelet morphologies firstly secondly bache i want to do one more high yield session of dna ploidy analysis i'll be scheduling it tomorrow these two topics these two topics microscopy of platelets and dna ploidy analysis don't ask me why but chances are very very high that you might get a question from these two done for the juniors for the juniors which is the target next batch the the next batch has started today that is on 8 september same thing is true for the focus fmg batch also juniors the next batch it is important scheduling is done by the faculties it is a nice proper two year schedule and everything everything you can use the code patho ua that is patho an academy for additional discounts for all the students who are giving this neat pg exam bache kuch mat socho kuch bhi mat socho i know that you are giving this paper against all odds not only academic but social odds also so bestest of luck from the bottom of my heart do well do well and we will meet tomorrow ankit bache I'll, i'll put it on my telegram group i'll matlab uh, important questions ke sath i'll put it on my telegram absolutely not to worry and uh, needless to say bestest of luck tomorrow we'll have a session of dna ploidy analysis this session those i just wanted to show it for the microscopes done done so thank you thank you take care and bestest of luck